The company's Eclipse. Um, it's a black touring company. And my theory is that all <laughs> of the British missing histories are black. In Sheffield, we have a black men's walking group. I was looking at the roads and I noticed the road was really, really, really straight mm -hmm. and uh, really built this road. And I said, what road is this? And my host said, um, it's the Roman road. The idea that I was walking on the same road as someone who'd been there thousands of years beforehand and we were both black was mm -hmm. quite a potent moment for me I wanted the walk to actually happen on stage so it was about a physical um, manifestation of that walk yeah. that would then encompass in these huge epic histories that would land in the middle of these walks mm -hmm. your challenge <laughs> <laughs> Was to hold all of that <laughs> in the space in, of in 2, a space. years of black history. Yeah, basically. <laughs> you know, it really happens in real life for them. And I I, I thought that was a beautiful thing to mm -hmm. kind of try and create, yeah. recreate on, yeah. on, 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 in theatre. The history felt like that, for me, that was the my key into it, really. Yeah. Kind of knowing that on one of we had this space that needed to serve the walking and that element of it. The other side of the play, these kind of big drops into um, 2,000 years past of yeah. these key characters, mm -hmm. some more no well-known than others. Mm -hmm. um, the presence of them throughout the whole thing, mm -hmm. that, that for me felt like that was my sort of way into it, really. Mm -hmm. The two ways, the, the two kind of big scenic bits for me that really did that was the sweep across the bat, mm -hmm. um, our kind of strata, psych, strata mm -hmm. rock face, mm -hmm. like... F really graphically physically showing these are the layers yeah and then also the black mirror yeah of having this kind of strange yeah it was like sci-fi it's port amazing portal in and out of the yeah, yeah 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 through time so having something there that whenever like acting like a mirror whenever people walk past mm -hmm. you do get these ghosts of reflections kind mm -hmm. of in the landscape mm -hmm. but then also being able to use it as um a kind of area in the space that could literally conjure people into the story yeah. or disappear them you were the one that said uh, this idea of museum, mm -hmm. this idea of artefacts being collected and labelled and that gives it a sort of mm -hmm. historical legitimacy. Um, and if you don't have those artefacts, if your stuff isn't valued or not picked yeah. up, then it's as if you never existed. Yeah. Having it there before the show, most people didn't notice it, but no. they did notice it on the way on out. The, definitely. Because suddenly having been on the journey with the characters yeah, for the yeah. previous... 80 minutes or however long it was, suddenly they were able to recognise these things yeah. when they came out and they did take on a different yeah. sort of significance. Septimus Severus and um, the Bangle I lady. Ivory Bangle Lady, yeah. um, they're all stories that we know because this evidence has been found. Yeah. We sort of piece together these histories and these ideas of who these people were yeah. by these little fragments of things that are found. If you do so, look at st statues of Septimus Severus, they are white he marble. White. Yeah. He looked pretty white, but the fact <laughs> is, he was clearly black. Definitely not. Uh, so I think you know that history gets rewritten, it gets erasured, rewritten, reappropriated. Mm -hmm. But I think uh, the exercise of of uh, of uh, museum, you know, what is the legitimacy of even yeah. that? We yeah. don't know. Yeah. But it's good. To, it was wonderful to question it. It was very much about a group of people all contributing to making this piece. Mm -hmm. It wasn't. I will just come in and design the set, and no. um, Adrian, the sound designer, will just do some sound, no. and Lee, the light designer, will just no. light it. No. It was very much about throw all the ideas in the room, and then everyone's got an opinion on everything, and yeah. and really kind of like fight to understand what this piece was trying to say and what I it could say. You had some elements, you had some <laughs> ideas, you had pictures, you and I had been <clears throat> sharing those, we were sharing those with the group, and you started to talk about it. Now, I think it's quite an extraordinary thing to even slightly suggest a giant mirror in the middle of a landscape. I thought there was something so beautiful about that process and that conversation and the offers that were, this is a possibility, <clears throat> what do we think, what's the discussion, that you could take something really bold yeah. and everybody was spending their time thinking how can I embrace this yeah. as opposed to what are the problems it's going to give yeah. me. It's becoming more recognised as a way of working now that the earlier designers get involved with the mm. actual conceptual conceptual um, 
ideas behind yeah. how it might be saved. I'm much more interested in the kind of dramaturgical response as to how the design can help tell the story. Yeah. So being invited to be part of the process that early yeah. is um, is hap I think it's probably happening increasingly. It's yeah. still, I wouldn't say it's still as common as it might be, no. but I know it's certainly the way that I prefer working. Yeah. All of us, we we did manage to. We knew that we were creating a space that we could then find out how we used it.